Hey friend, Eric from Miller Music here. Today in this video, I wanna do a quick overview video of how mastering works inside Studio One. Um, I'm gonna be giving you three different plugins you can use to have your masters sound really great, and also show you how to use the project page. Um, but before we get started, I want you to click the link in the description below and download my free five-step home recording guide. It's an overview process of how to get really great tones and sounds when you're recording tracks in your home studio. But let's jump into the topic for today. Okay, so I have a song open here in Studio One. Um, I'm using Studio One Professional, and this is the song page right here, and this is where I built out all the tracks. And usually what I do is as I'm mixing, I will add to the inserts a limiter and a pro EQ just to um, give, us, give a sense of a more balanced output. Um, maybe I'll just set that to negative one dB for the limiter just to make sure nothing is clipping. Um, so let's just listen to that really quickly. So this is no effects. So, you know, it does add, it brings up the dB and it adds that pro EQ. Now, you can do this on any DAW by simply using the main outs and then add or adding in the master effects there. But what I love about um, Studio One Professionals, they have a new project page, which automatically will convert your song into the project page, which is really where you have more features for mastering. It makes it much easier. So to do that, you go over to the song tab and you go add to project. And what that will do is it'll create a new master um, project for you. And I've created one here. And this is what it looks like. All right, so you have your song in here. You can add in your, you know, metadata, your artists, you know, your artwork there. And you add your effects here, just like you would have on your master um, master out main output. But there's a lot more features here. One is is they have a really cool, you know, um, frequency spectrum. Lose my way which is kind of cool. They have this little That's stereo analyzer over here. And one of the favorite features I really like is they have this meter, which is the Luffs meter, which is really great for if you are, you know, exporting your song to Spotify or any streaming service. Um, and you really want to go for like a negative 14 Luffs there. So you can set that um, in this little section over here. And it'll give you the pre-effects and post-effects main output. So you can see here, uh, I have a negative 21 LUFs and then with pre and then post is about negative 14.8. So it gives you, you know, it shows you, you know, how loud your track is and what it's going to do when it goes to those streaming services, which I think is really cool. Um, over here you have, this is where you're going to add in all of your effects. And, you know, I have a limiter, so let's just open that up on the limiter. So I have it set for a ceiling of negative one dB and then the gain of four decibels to kind of make up for the quieter parts in the song and the threshold at negative three. And then over here I have added, and you know, that's, that's mainly your loudness information. That's what it's going to, um, how you're going to be controlling that is through the limiter. Um, and then here, this is a really cool feature. This is your envelope, okay? Your clip envelope. So in this song, uh, the intro is just guitar and voice. So it's quite a bit quieter than the other parts of the song. So you can create some automation here with this white line by clicking it and then dragging the volume up or down. Um, if I disabled that, you can hear Sometimes I... it's quite a bit quieter, um, you know, so you it, it this is, you know, more of an artistic choice of how you want to um, have different volume sections in your song. If you really want it quieter or if you want it more consistent with, say, the chorus, which is quite a bit louder over here. You always help you wherever you are. So, you know, it just depends on what you want to do with that. Uh, one other plugin that's really useful for mastering is the multiband dynamics. 
Um, that's kind of cool if you have a, uh, a frequency, let's say, that um, is problematic, it's kind of muddy, or there's too much uh, kick drum, you can you can kind of fix that using the multiband dynamics and what this will do is we'll isolate different frequencies. So I have just the low mids being um, isolated here. And then you can, using compression, you know, set the ratio or the gain for a different amount um, to either boost or usually it's more, usually you would reduce, you know, the bad frequency. You want to like take away the bad frequency. Um, and then once you have your mix, you know, where you're happy with it and you're ready to go, you go to the um, project page and you go down to digital release. And then right here you can select, you know, waveform MP3 of how you export it. And again, you can adjust the loudness information here to whatever streaming platform. Uh, they give you a whole bunch of, you know, from SoundCloud to YouTube to Amazon whatever you want down there and then you are ready to go and that's basically how mastering in a nutshell works in studio one um, so i hope you found this video helpful i encourage you to please uh, click the link in the description below to download my free five-step home recording guide and i will see you in the next video take care